Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video we will build a donut chart animation in React Native by using SVG and animated API from React Native. I will teach you how to create this donut chart in React Native by using a circle and stroke dash offset and stroke dash array. Plus the second part will be how to actually animate a number based on the animation value. Before jumping into VS Code, I'd like to thanks to Graham, Houston and Andrew Frank for supporting this channel and buying me a couple of coffees. Thank you so much. And recently, I've created a Patreon page in case you'd like to support me because I got this question all the time. Do I have a Patreon page? Now I have it. So the link to it, it's in the description of this video. And... Also, if you'd like to support me with a coffee, the link to buy me a coffee is also in the description. And now, without further ado, let's play the intro and jump straight into VS Code and start building this donut chart animation. Alrighty, so we are in VS Code here. I've already created the project using Expo. And I have here a donut chart component that's rendered in the main app file. And the donut chart component, it's a dummy function that's taking some properties that we'll use in this example and is rendering for now a text with a donut inside. And in the beginning of the video, I've said that we will have two different parts for this video. The first one will be to create a donut chart using SVG and circle. And the other one will be to animate the uh, the text or the value and we'll start by using the svg so let's start by building the donut chart and we'll import the svg uh, group g and circle from react native svg so react native svg and remove the text we don't need it anymore and we'll have an svg inside we'll have a group and two different circles and the reason for that is because the first circle will act as a background where we will have the, the stroke always visible. And for the second one, we will animate the stroke offset, dash offset. And you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. But first, let's start by applying some properties to the SVG. We'll have a width of radius multiplied by 2, a height of radius multiplied by 2, a view box of... 0, 0, half circle multiplied by 2 and half circle multiplied by 2. And define here the half circle. So half circle is going to be radius plus stroke width. Because we need to take into account the stroke width for the, for the view box as well to properly display the, the circles here. And hit save now. Uh, hit refresh. For the background circle, we'll have uh, position it in the middle. So CI and CX is going to be 50%. Okay. And we'll have a stroke of color that's passed as a, as a property here. Tomato is the default one in our example. A stroke width of stroke width. We'll also need to pass the radius and a st stroke opacity of 0.2. So we have this circle here in the middle of the screen and also pass a transparent fill because we don't care about the fill, we only care about the stroke. And for the second one, let me grab those uh, those properties defined because we'll have the same circle, right? And this time we don't need to uh, have a different uh, stroke opacity, so stroke opacity is going to be 1. But we'll play around with the stroke dash offset and stroke dash array. So let's start by creating the stroke dash array. And stroke dash array is basically saying how the dash will look like and what's the gap between the dashes. And stroke dash array accepts either one or two arguments. And if you pass one argument, the uh, the value of it, it's also going to be applied to the gap. If you pass two different arguments, the first one will be the length of the, the stroke or the dash, and the second one will be the gap between the dashes. And in our example, we would like to have a length 
of a, of a circle circumference. So let me create here the circle circumference. And circle circumference defined it here. So circle circumference is a math or trigonometry uh, formula, and it's 2 multiplied with pi multiplied with the radius of the circle. So 2 multiplied with math pi multiplied with the radius of the circle. And applying this will create basically, um, we will take the entire length of the circle and create a line, a uh, gap, the same length as the as the circle and so on and so forth right and in order to move this uh, dotted line or dashed line we need to apply a different stroke dash offset so stroke dash offset if we pass the same circle circumference we will not see anything because we uh, modified it with the length of the circle but if we uh, divided by two, you'll see only half of the of the. We will uh, offset it with the half of the length of the circle, and this will create this uh, this effect here. So if I apply by uh, divided by three, you'll see uh, you'll see a different uh, different offset. So we move basically the stroke uh, with with this stroke dash offset. And let's keep it like this for now, or divide by two, and you'll see immediately that the uh, the circle starts from the, the the stroke starts from the right hand side in the middle, and we would like to rotate it so it's gonna start from the top. And in order to do that, this group should uh, we should apply a different rotation of minus 90, and now we also need to move the the origin of the of the uh, rotation. So origin. It's gonna be half circle and half circle. So basically, from the middle of the circle, we would like to start. And what bothers me is the this line doesn't have a rounded uh, rounded ended endings. So to to do that, we need to pass a property called round stroke line cap, and we'll create this rounded um, rounded uh, cap here. Now, in order to, uh, to change it or to animate it, we need to first calculate based on the percentage passed as a property here, where we should or how we should offset the, the, the dash stroke. So in order to do that, first let's start by importing the animated and create here an animated circle which is an animated create animate animated component by the circle use this animated circle instead of the circle here that's visible and create a ref a circle ref and the circle ref is not defined so circle ref it's equal to react use ref and in order to animate it we need to Create here a React use effect, use effect. So when this component is mounted, we will do something with it. So first, let's start by creating the the stroke dash offset based on the percentage passed as a property. So we'll have here a stroke dash offset of in order to to fill the entire. So first we've started from a uh, circumference right so let me comment this one so it's not visible right so we will start from a circumference and subtract um, a value out of it in order to to make this visible so a uh, stroke dash offset will be a circle circumference minus and now we will calculate based on the percentage how much we need to subtract from it. So it's going to be circle circumference multiplied with the percentage divided by 100. And uh, if I move this on top and use this here, you'll see that it's 70, uh, 75% of the of the of the 
screen, right? So if I'm passing 50%, it's going to be half. So in this way, this is working. The only problem which I, I see is that we don't take into account the max value. So um, not all the donut charts will have a max value of 100, but maybe you'll have a different, a different max value, let's say 1000, right? And 75% is not going to have is not going to be 75 percent of the of uh, like we don't need to um, move it 75 percent of the circumference right and in order to create this effect let me go here inside we'll have the stroke dash offset right but we'll calculate the max percentage and max percentage is a, it's a simple formula we'll um, take how much uh, this percentage it's valued based on uh, the max. So we'll have a percentage divided by max. And in this way, we, need, we know uh, how much 75% uh, represents from 100. And instead of percentage directly, let's use the max percentage. And with this in mind, if I move them outside and use them here, in the stroke dash offset and now modify the max value you'll see that seven, uh, 75 value is different uh, based on this max right so this uh, ensures us that we take into account the uh, the max uh, the, the percentage and the max value of the donut chart now in order to animate it we need to create an animation so first an animated value which is a react use ref a new animated value starting from zero get the current and also here let me create an animation method so an animation value will take a two value and will return an animated timing we'll animate the animated value we'll go to value to value uh, duration of duration passed as a property here a delay as a prop and we'll use the native driver for this example and hit save and now this is complaining because we forgot to replace this with a circle circumference and in order to to modify the uh, to modify uh, the circle stroke dash offset based on the animated value we need to listen to the animated value uh, changes so we'll create here an event listener we'll get a value and here we'll check if uh, there is a circle ref circle ref current we will set the native props for stroke dash offset now if i hit save and start the animation in the first place so animation to value is gonna be the percentage and copy those uh, values from here and paste them inside the uh, listener and instead of the percentage now we would like to get the value of the animation so value of the animation now if I hit save and start the animation we forgot previously we just returned the animated timing but we didn't start the animation so we also need to start the animation start you see that when this component is mounted we animate the stroke dash offset to that particular percentage and let me uh, play this yo-yo effect so when this animation will be finished, we'll check if the value is equal to zero. We will go to percentage, otherwise we'll go to zero. And now we, we animate it back and forth. And if I'm increasing this delay to be 500, we get a, a better, uh, it's more visible, right? And the missing part for this tutorial is to animate the number the percentage the real percentage and in order to do that we'll use a text input 
and let me import a text input text input from react native and down below after the svg we'll create this text input and we'll have an under underline transparent for the android we don't want to be editable so false we'll start from zero and we'll have a style and the styles will be style sheet absolute fill so let me import style sheet absolute fill object so we'll fill uh, we will uh, absolute position we'll position this absolute we'll also have a font size of radius divided by two and the color of text color or color and the reason why i'm doing this is because you can pass a different um, a different uh, radius and i would like to scale the uh, text as well and let's apply some more styles so font weight is gonna be bold and or 900 and the text align is going to be center so this will center uh, perfectly into the into the chart here and I notice that inside this use effect, whenever this component is unmounted, I'm not removing the listener. So animated value remove all listeners. And also pass max and percentage as uh, dependencies here. And in order to animate the this text input, we need to get the reference. So input ref and transform this into an animated input so animated input will have an input text input and use this animated input instead of the text input create the input ref here so we'll have an input ref and inside the uh, listener here we will check if we have uh, an input ref Current. we would like to set the native props so current set native props with text and this text should be a string so concatenate it and we'll do a math round by the value of the animation now if I hit save you'll see we we animate the uh, the number as well which is looking really really nice before before wrapping up this tutorial i'd like to show you uh, how to actually create mo multiple charts and i have here on the clipboard uh, something that will um, map through uh, some data that i've already created where we have different uh, max values and different percentages with colors and I'm iterating over this data and I'm rendering a donut chart and passing the properties as described there and donut chart is here so now if I hit save all the charts will have different max values and percentages and different colors and they will animate uh, differently and to create here let me pass a different radius so if I'm changing uh, let's say the last one if I'm adding a radius of 200 you'll see that this will be uh, visible differently right so if I hit save you'll see uh, it's it's bigger and I can also pass a stroke width of let's say 40 and apply the stroke width as well to the uh, to the chart itself and it's really customizable it's reusable and it's animated so thank you so much i hope that you've learned something new and you can apply it in your either existing projects or new projects of yours if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to it smash the like button and share it with your friends other than that, see you in the next video. Bye.